There is a very common mistake I see most people make on the road to improve their life. And I am no expert, but I've been there. And when I say this is a big mistake, it's really simple. We think that by looking at this new tactic, this video, this person's advice, this book, that is going to provide the missing piece, the silver bullet that fixes everything. But in reality, there is only one trait that above all is by far the most important habit you need to cultivate to be successful in whatever it is you want. And that habit is discipline. Now in this video, let's talk about three of the principles I've used to become way more disciplined, especially about the things that I don't really want to do, but I know will help me live and improve my life. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. Now I've actually included in the description some of the exercises that are in my book Master of the Day and also a yearly goal setting planning worksheet. That's the yearly envisioning document I talk about in a lot of my videos. If you click the link below in the description, you'll be able to download it for free. You'll also get a email every few days on my goal setting advice. So it's the first link in the description. All right, guys, the very first principle, the most important principle in discipline, above all, is that you do what is aligned with your goals, not how you feel emotionally, all right? That may mean the gym. You said that today you're going to go to the gym for 30 minutes, but it's a rainy day, you live in Portland, the Pacific Northwest, you just had a crappy night's sleep, there's all the stress going on, doesn't matter. Get your ass in the gym. You said you were going to go to the gym, you go to the gym. That's discipline, doing what's right, not what's easy, doing what you said you would, even when you don't even want to. That's discipline, that's responsibility. What if it's the difficult thing? Could be asking a person out, you know? You choose the easy decision tonight, you're like, uh, I'm not gonna ask her out, she's, she's really attractive, she's surrounding with all her friends, I don't know what to say, blah, 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 blah. Discipline means you gotta be brave. You gotta make the right decision, which is the decision that I said was, I'm gonna go up and talk to women because I want a girlfriend and I wanna stop being single. That's the disciplined approach. The dis- discipline could be, I said I'm gonna work on my homework for one hour when I get home and then I can play. But, you know, I'm kinda hungry and there's a good show on and my friend's texting me and this, the YouTuber just uploaded a video. No! The disciplined approach is, you said you would do this. Now, you do it. You don't do what you feel like doing, which is rest or having the snack or texting your friend back, you do the difficult thing you said you would to improve your life. Now consider this, it may be easy to be like, oh Alex, you know, these YouTube videos you love, they're fun, it's, it would be so much easier if I was doing that. But guess what? There's not one day where I wanna get up, script my videos, shoot them, cue them up to the editor, and or do some of the edits myself. There's not one day, not one day have I been like, yes, I'm so ready to invest all this energy into scripting and shooting. I like the planning, I like the ideas, I like while I'm talking on camera, but I don't want to do this half the time. I love the feeling of it having been done. I love going back through my old work and being like, that was a really good video. But it's the discipline that gets me through the day to actually do this every single Tuesday. The second principle is to do what's right and not what's easy. Now the right decision is very often the brave decision because it's the thing that scares you, that you don't wanna do. I was talking with this girl recently about, in the last year, a girl that I was in grade school with, I hadn't seen in years, and we were just kinda shooting the shit, and she told me that she, there was this one guy we went to school with, we were like eight years old, 10 years old, and she's like, oh yeah, you know, I used to have such a crush on this guy, blah, blah, for years and years and years. Now what's funny, is my exact friend, the guy, he had been, he was so in love with this girl in all of grade school, 10 years, but he never had the guts to ask her out because he had all these beliefs about, what if she rejects me, she's way more attractive than me, she's more popular than me, and he never asked her out. And here we are, 15 years later, 20 years later, and she said that she had a crush on him too the whole time. And he would have gotten what he wanted, his goal, if he just had the guts to go up and talk to her, maybe risk an awkward moment, maybe risk something weird going on, but at the end of the day, she liked him too. And I feel like this is such a good metaphor for life because there are so many things we wanna do that we're not sure how the outcome's gonna go so we don't even ask, we don't even try. Like, 
How many authors succeed? I'm not going to write a book. They never succeed. There's no money in books. Like, what if, if I ask her out, if I ask him out, what if I look dumb in front of all these people? What if I want to go to grad school, it's expensive, but that's my passion, my mom says I'm dumb for doing that, she wants me to be a doctor. All these what if, these beliefs that render us impotent, they just like shut it down immediately. And so the disciplined approach to life usually is being brave. It is taking the risk and betting on yourself, betting on your dream, the thing that really excites you and inspires you, and not listening to society. That also is discipline, because you deal with fear every single day. The fear is always cropping up, and you have to push it aside and plow forward. The third habit that will really help you is to actually force yourself up between 10 and 30 minutes earlier every day before you normally do. Or force yourself up kind of early on the weekend. Now, the thing about this is waking yourself up early when you're tired is such a difficult, it's a monumental task, but it's so good for developing discipline. Because your body's like, I sure as hell don't want to get up. But your mind is like, this is what I said I was going to do for my goal. I'm going to get up 30 minutes earlier and review my goals and meditate and work out. Or on the weekend, maybe I can just set my head straight for what I'm going to do. Maybe a little bit of work, fun stuff, relaxation, all in one. But I'm going to set the intention for the day. And just by doing that, you're going to learn that there is a specific moment. The moment is the in-between that I talked about in my other video, the three-second rule. One of my most popular videos on the channel is the moment when you realize, I said I was going to get up, but I said I was going to go to the gym, but the show. I said I was going to do my homework now or edit the video or write in my book or ask the person out or text my friend back. But that split second, that three second rule is the in-between moment where the mind and the body or the heart are in conflict. The mind said, you said you would do this and your body's like, Yeah, but nah. And so, you're faced with a proposition where you have to make the brave, the right, the disciplined decision and not the easy one. So that's why I want to leave it for you here today. Discipline, more than anything, is when you said you would do something, you do it. It doesn't matter if you hate it now. It doesn't matter if you don't want to do it. It doesn't matter if you feel sick. It doesn't matter if you feel tired. The disciplined approach is doing it because you said you would. It's a very character-based approach to living life. And I know there's a whole bunch of other questions and options and all these things that come up. What if I'm tired? What if I'm really sick? Just focus on doing the thing you said you would instead of doing what you feel like right now. Because there are many things that can change your life that you may not feel like doing right now. So think about that. Now again, one of the ways to develop discipline is starting by writing out your goals and being disciplined about reviewing them. See what I did there? The first link in the description gives you a download to my free yearly envisioning. It's like a goal setting worksheet or planner. And you'll also get an email every three days on how to set and achieve your most wild goals. So you can check out the first link in the description. And of course, my last two videos right there and right there.